You've been using rock, paper, scissors to settle middling disputes for years. But winning is all random, right? Oh no, RPS strategy is for real. Let's take a trip to China. This is Zhejiang University, where a man named Zhan Wang has unlocked the game theory behind winning rock, paper, scissors. Mathematically, the best way to play the game is choosing your action randomly. In game theory, that's called Nash Equilibrium. But Wang found that players have tendencies based on winning or losing a previous round. This is called a conditional response, and understanding it lets you exploit your opponents. Here's how it works. The first round of the best of three is up for grabs. Each player chooses one of the three options. But then things get really interesting. There's two simple things you have to know about how people play. One, if a player wins, they'll usually pick the same thing again. Two, if a player loses, they'll usually change their strategy and move to the next action in the sequence. For example, if someone loses with rock, they'll most likely play paper next. If they lose with paper, they'll usually play scissors, and so on. Those two pieces of information are the key to crushing your opponent. Let's say you find yourself in a heated match. Everything is on the line. Round one, you play rock. Your opponent plays paper. You're off to a rough start. But since they won, you know they're likely to play the exact same thing again, paper. So to win, you play scissors. Boom, now it's all knotted at one. Time to bring it home. Since they lost last time with paper, they're probably going to change actions now to the next in the sequence. And what comes after paper? Scissors. Which means your perfect play is rock. Congratulations, you're now ready to dominate. You'll never have to wash the dishes or walk the dog again. Good luck. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh. <laughs> Two things they know make you a target. One of them is bacteria.